Yo, what's up everyone? External here. Welcome back to Pokemon Shield. Today I'm filming this. It's Wednesday the 21st. It's 9.20 a.m. I woke up at... It was what, like 6.30? 6? We're up to the 8th gym now. Level ball. Figured. I'm ready to beat the 8th gym leader today. I don't know what the gym challenge is. Oh, never mind. We have the tunnel first. A tunnel over on Route 7 that I was told... not to go deal with. So if we go through Route 7, we'll get there. It's probably Pokemon Dynamaxing in the cave. Oh, come on. I don't want to battle anyone. I just want to be able to take on the gym leader. But, oh well. Ryombi versus Inteleon. Well, maybe this is some good practice because, well, our Pokemon are underleveled and we're going to take on the hardest gym in the game soon. So, this could work out well. Today I'm supposed to complete the rest of the game. I'm probably going to take another week just to do the post game itself but I should have started working far earlier I woke up at 630 I watched TV played video games well I played Fortnite but that's because I wanted to check out the new season a little more see if I enjoy it which so far I really don't it's Wednesday so yeah the season's been out a little bit all the sweat tryhards weren't on because it was like 7 a.m. I don't even know what's down here. pair of safety goggles okay to the cave we go alright hops here too where's Leon Pokemon look at the news No, he's not. He's going to lose to me. Just give it three to four episodes. So I showed up here for nothing. Can I go in that cave now? Well, real quick... And I didn't know I could do this in recording software. I can pause from in here. Meaning. I could level up the team. And then be right back. Which. I'm going to do since we're under leveled. And we're back. Actually, we can do one more battle, I guess. Since you guys deserve to see a little bit of the leveling up action. But, drill pack. Of course the battles take long now that I'm recording. I guess that's how it works though. 
But I sat here for like 20 minutes off camera. And all I was doing was just leveling up. I didn't get the team that much higher in level. I just sat in one patch of grass the entire time, but I did this that way we could be at a good point when we take on, when we take on, well, I can't remember the gym leader's name now, but also I noticed that I stopped recording at 4 minutes 20 seconds. Nice. That wasn't a promotion in any kind. I just thought it was funny that I stopped it at that time frame accidentally. Well, instead of doing anything, why don't we just... No, not team. Town map. Let's go here. We'll heal up before taking on the gym. I know this gym is going to be tough. That's why I have the perfect strategy set up. I don't know if this strategy will work. Our team looks strong. We'll do that at a later date. I'm going to adjust our team for the... One last thing before we rush in there. I didn't even know I had that. I have a lot of Pokeballs too. That's going to be useful for when we take on the Legendary in, I'd say, about three episodes of Rival Battle. Took down all the Dynamax. We'd have no way of knowing. Is the scientist work? Chairman called for me. Nothing worth my time. He's left everything to the executive lady. We just don't have enough data. You know more than anyone about the darkest day after all. The red light and the darkest day are connected. I appreciate it. Naturally. Hammerlock Stadium. Wrong way! The stadium's right here. Yeah, I'm ready for the final gym, for real this time. Change into uniform? I'm in uniform, just not the right one. I'm in the ice type uniform. Yeah, you need to go to the vault for the trial, so I wonder what's in that arena. The long loading screen's probably because if you think about the character has to walk all the way there. Not really, it's a teleportation, but... Not even 10, alright then. Feet three gym trainers that I personally trained in double battles. Challenging, wouldn't you say? 
I have a brilliant combination. Three. I only see two and Raihan. Dragon types are ferociously powerful. I need to create an advantage on the battlefield to fully utilize that power. Okay, let's go, because I have a strategy too. Hope you know that. Pelper and Silgu. Inteleon and Boltund. I get to show you guys one of my new strategies, but first, it's a setup move. First, I need to use my setup move on Silgu. Spark on Pelipper, where it's double super. Spark is double super effective, so that wipes out Pelipper. And then... Ooh, Bolton's leveled up. Inteleon used Soak, which does no damage, but Silgu's a water type now. Dragon type moves are powerful. But, not strong enough to stop this. Oh, I didn't expect Sucker Punch to go first. But now that Silgu's a water type, super effective. This strategy is going to be helpful in any situation where it's a double battle now. Even so, I could always switch. Oh, there are three trainers. I only saw two. I have the same strategy for all three rounds. Ninetales and Terminator. Which are both already fire types, might I add. Meaning, this should be quite easy. Because of Terminator's shell, I gotta be ready to not do any physical damage. Hence why I, with the physical attack, I went for nine tails. The range attack, I went against Terminator. Will-O-Wisp, burn. Shell trap. Shell trap didn't work. You know what? I'm gonna risk it. It didn't work though. At least Nine Tails is almost done too. Oh no. Oh no. I'm not liking the way this is going. At least now we can take out Turtonator. No, we can't. Never mind. The trap setup was useless. Well, time for grapple locked. Terminator's tough because I can't make physical contact. Hence why. Well. All Will-O-Wisp does is burn. Now it's a one, it's a 2v1, which... Well, 
well, this move will come in handy. But I think my setup move and strategy in a double battle is smart. Well, now I'm ready to go all out with the snipe shot again and superpower. Well, I remember this trial being a lot more difficult. I remember the Raihan gem battle being tough. That's probably going to remain the same. Well, the battles before aren't as bad. I defeated the second gym trainer. Now we're on to the third. So, before this, Let's use I'm just giving my Pokemon random items now. But we should probably revive Boltund Hyper Potion Hyper Potion I do have a burn heal actually. I was going to use a full heal, but we had a burn heal. That's pretty handy. On to the third trainer. Do I combine the strength of the two, or do I just push through with one? You want to find out, Arya? A bomb of snow and a hank mount. Okay. I already see the strategy. If I can... Who's going to be a bigger threat ultimately? Probably Hankmo because Hankmo can probably learn ground type moves. That was a good starter. Now and then I can next turn I could set up Oh, that just lowered attack. Okay. Aurora Veil. Is that like a shield? Well, now I'm gonna set up Soak against a Bomb of Snow to make a Bomb of Snow weak. Now both are water types, meaning this is basically like fighting a water type gym leader. Making this gym a lot easier. Wow, really going for making me weak, huh? Icy Wind attacks both. Not very effective on either. Lowered speed on both. Really with the stat moves today, huh? Oh, I forgot question of the day. Who's your favorite dragon type? Mine's probably Dragonite. My favorite 8th gym leader. Probably Wallace. But that's because Wallace is the first 8th gym leader I ever beat. I'm tired of Noble Roar. The move's annoying by now. Also, how come the pseudo legendary is almost always a dragon type? Just noticed that. Bark against a bomb of snow. Because a bomb of snow is going to be a lot more of a problem now since Snipe Shot could take out Hank Mao or Hack Mao. 
How did I get Hank? Icy wind. Ooh, that might be annoying. Not really, actually. Well, now it's a 2v1 again, so... And then we'll use spark again. Paralysis might help. Sucker punched it a little bit. Spark does enough. Icy wind one more time. Obama Snow's last move against us. Icy wind. Putting us in a bit of a tough situation. Since Bolton's about a faint. Hail stopped right at the best moment. Aurora Veil. Vale. Okay, we'll just use the combo again. Sadly, this is the last double battle I could think of, but... Lenoon leveled up. That was a tough battle, too. Since both Pokemon were quite strong. Complete my gym mission. Before we take him on, I think the gym battle's a double battle too, so. I said my goal today is to beat the gym. It's 10.01 a.m., so. I need to work quicker. Well, if I'm correct, there's two to three more parts of actual gameplay. And then it's, then it's the post game, but I don't even have to film post game today. If I want to, I can. I probably will. Yeah, of course I'm ready to take on the last gym. Well, I'm looking forward to playing the next game, since it's not that long of a game, either. And it's a classic. Kirby Superstar is what's following this. That's about, like, six parts or so. Two-on-two -two battles. That's what's the challenge about this. He's probably going to have anywhere from four to six Pokemon. Either four or six. Four, that's it? I'm already seeing an advantage here. Two advantages. Because right off the bat... And I'll tell you what I see right off the bat. Because I'm going to be more analytical for the rest of the game. Ready? Inteleon super effective against Gigalith. But Bolton super effective against Flygon right off the bat, meaning Snipe Shot on Gigalith, Spark on Flygon. Doesn't affect wait. I thought I was right here. What does this do? Break attack or defense? I thought it'd be defense. Oh no, I just realized that. I just remembered. Oh, I actually have a shiny Gigalith. Best thing I could think of until I could properly set up a good move is that and then snipe shot should finish off here 
One down. As long as he doesn't send out the tower looking guy, we're good, because that's his Gigantamax. Forget an old move. Wild Charge, I know, is a lot better. 90, 65. Yes, I'll take Wild Charge. That will 100% help. Ooh. Ooh. Not looking good at all. Sandaconda, ground type 2. Okay, I got a strategy here. It's called Snipe Shot on Sandaconda. The paralysis I could heal later. I just need to make sure Inteleon doesn't faint. Because Inteleon's half the plan. Again, really? Down already? Okay, I'm assuming I have one last turn with Inteleon, maybe not. Okay, I need to be quick with this. So, my strategy is going to be with Inteleon set up to take on Duraludon. And then with Boltund, I'm going to have to heal up Inteleon. See how I'm more analytical now? It's mainly because the game's getting tougher now. If I didn't level up, it'd be harder. The music's a bop, though. Reason I have soak using is because the amount of times I've been annihilated by Max Duraludon in my original playthrough, I decided to set up soak I could probably survive this so yeah that I can't that's gonna that's gonna KO Oh, it doesn't affect yet. Yeah, I need a new strategy for now. Until I have the time to revive both. My entire team's dead now. But we've made it with just two Pokemon to the end about. So now, Glalie and Grapple Locked. Good game, GG. Okay. Superpower. Duraludon. Freeze Dry Flygon. As long as this doesn't kill, we're good. Oh no. Survive Glalie. Oh no. This isn't looking good either. Even though that's the third turn. We survived the Gigantamax at least. That gives me an idea.
This is where it gets good. Now this is all me improvising and I don't know what the term is. I think it's improvising. And then here we'll use Night Slash. Wait, which does more damage? Flygon. This is. And I did this first try too. It took me so many tries the last time. I'm glad I did it first try this time. I thought I was going to be here for a couple hours doing this battle. Breaking swipe doesn't do much. Lowered attack? Oh well. Body press. Why can I see this KOing too? I hope it does. Oh, it didn't do that much actually. Ludon. I'm gonna be smart for this turn actually. I'm gonna full revive Inteleon. Just in case, because I have a feeling that's gonna happen. Ooh, that's not looking good at all. Come on, crit. I could get one more in, probably. This is getting stressful now, because it's actually getting close. So... I actually have to worry. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no is right, because we lost our Giganamax one turn early. Was that the Orinberry? Drill Peck. Oh, it doesn't do much. Okay. I have an idea. Steel Wing, Dur Ludon, probably not very effective. Hoping Snipe Shot KOs here. Half of my problems are right there with Flygon. I think I could do this actually, if I'm being quite honest. If not, it's close. Because Flygon's down. Now I just need to revive Boltund. I'm stressing now. Body press my KO. Oh, we were close first try though. I'll see you guys when we get back to the gym. And here we are. Taking on Raihan. Is that G Fuel? Is that a bootleg G Fuel ad I saw? Well, we did good first to try. I almost said first attempt, but basically the same thing.
Okay, I see what to do now. I have the perfect strategy. If I can pull it off. I need to get rid of... If I see what to do correctly, I need to... Against Gigalith. Crunch against Flygon. Enough crunches, I can probably get stuff done. Same with enough snipe shots. Breaking swipe. Do all the Pokemon know Breaking Swipe? At least Flygon and Duraludon do. Stealth Rock. Uh, that dealt a good amount of damage last time. I'd say that's a decent first turn. And then Liquidation. Crunch. I'm already doing... Better than the first one. Since pretty soon, he's gonna be down to one Pokemon. Corviknight leveled up. That's what I was scared of. I have the perfect plan for this. Snipe shot against Sandaconda. I must have said Santa Cobra. I probably did. And then Hyper Potion in Teleon. I probably unlock Max Potions after this gym. See, we're already at the same point as last time. But better because... We're about to take out... We're about to take out Flygon, too. If we take out Flygon within the next turn, we're already doing amazing. I'm going to bring back an old strategy here. Soak on Duraludon. Crunch on Flygon. Because as long as it's not Rock Wall, we're good. But we're already close enough to taking out Flygon as it is. So if Flygon's down, then it's just three turns of Duraludon to survive and then we max out and we take control. Bolt on used crunch. I'm praying that it finishes off. Inteleon got soaked in too, meaning Inteleon's no longer needed. Thank you Inteleon. Max Knuckle. I think that's super effective. Okay, Inteleon's gone. I need to replace Inteleon. Boltons needs to focus on Duraludon. Okay, who's Glalie strong against? Unless I have a dual hitting move. Pointy stones. Icy Wind, Wild Charge. Wild Charge did a lot. Breaking Swipe. That broke Boltund. Well, now this battle's looking easy. As long as we survive this. That's turn two. Okay, it's looking quite bad. I can't lie. Turn two. Okay, so I guess 
Linoon and Corviknight. And now Linoon. Okay. I'm nervous, but at the same time, I think I got this. Breaking swipe. As long as one of us goes next, we're good. Oh man. Well, linen's done. Meaning. But so is Flygon. I need to revive someone now. Flygon's done. What I could do is max knuckle with grab locked. Max knuckle with grab locked. And then with Corviknight I revive someone. And for any turn Corviknight's on the field, I'm just gonna have to start reviving and healing. Cause Corviknight has to make sure I can keep my team going and then Corviknight the rest of my team is dead as I just said I love how this went from a let's play to a strategy guide because there are Ludon's a water type now that means That means electric super effective, hence why I revived Boltund instead of Inteleon like last time. I was considering Inteleon, but Inteleon's next turn. Breaking Swipe didn't do much. Let's see. I only got two max knuckles in last time. That's one... Hopefully we win this time. Inteleon's back, just in case. Meaning, our original team can finish it off just in case. Critical hit on Graplocked, that's not good. We still need to get two more Max Knuckles in. Max Knuckle number two. Okay, time for Max Knuckle number three. Attack Rose. Max Knuckle number three. Heal up Boltund. Okay, we got this in the bag now. Yeah, we got this. Now, only thing that can stop us is healing. Which, if a heal happens, oh no. I'm not even going to heal this turn. This turn, I'm going to fight back with Drill Peck. We won. We 100% won because no matter what one of my Pokemon fell, the other one could attack. And like that, we beat the hardest gym leader in the game. Second attempt, too. I say that's a W. Level 49. Defeated Raihan. We got the 8th gym badge. Maybe... I might have lost, I still look good, maybe I should snap a quick selfie. That's the issue with this generation, everyone's obsessed with selfies and their phones. But, Neon's rival, who can't even claim the title of champion. Dragon Badge, 
We've gotten the eighth gym badge. Now we get to move on to the championship. You can now catch Pokemon of any level. Oh, wait, Raihan's stepping out here. There's something I forgot. Breaking swipe. The move that I saw way too often. I like how the final gym battle is going out on a Friday. I'll give you a battle that'll make you want to quit the gym challenge altogether. I'm not going to lose. I'll be seeing you, external. Let's have another epic battle someday. Wild area. Well, I'm pretty sure there's a cutscene now. Complete the challenge. Congratulations. Go celebrate. I think there's some things we should talk over. Cover Hammerlock, Darkest Day. Said giant Pokemon were on a rampage. Entire gallery region. Using energy from wishing stars, we still don't know how to control the energy behind the two heroes managed to do. Hello? I haven't even finished the work you assigned me. Think of it as something to help you finish that work. I don't know, that just doesn't look right. Her and Professor. Professor clothing. Get into Winden. Where's the station? Is there a station here? I don't even know. Oh, no, that's in the wild area. I don't know where Hammerlock Station is. That's a bad thing. Oh, it's probably on... Looking at the map, it's on that side. Oh, I think that's it. No, wait. Is that... No, that's it, actually. I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center first. We'll continue onward next time. Since we're on the final route of the game next time. So, if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, everybody.